Hey guys, PC Outcast here, back with more of the Pure Alchemy build. And as suggested by a number of you, we are going to do a little fishing and see if we can find ourselves some salmon row. That is one of the most valuable ingredients to craft potions and poisons with. Let's see what we can find. What we got here. Well, we got that. And got. Eh, Cyrodelic Spade Tail, sure. Did I already capture that? So, oh, more Nern Root. Could be. Ah. This actually would be really, really good for, um... If we already had Windstad Stan Wind Stad Manor and we could uh, fill our our um, fish pond with all this, but whatever, we'll do what we can. Come here, little fishies. By the way, good way good way to find fish is to look for the. Um, these guys, the uh, dragonflies, and then usually right around there will be fish, just like in real in the real world. Oh, hello, I'm in, I'm in meat, meat, meat. Now, if it's not incredibly forthcoming, the um, fish, then we will just uh, scrap this whole idea. Because, I mean, we're going to level up regardless. So, ooh, is there a place where I can sort of stand here and not be washed away? Like I'm sliding. Alright, fish. I don't think I can actually reach them. I want to literally flew right by me. <sighs> Maybe. Uh, I'm just being washed away. Washed so far away. Um, can I stop? Can I stand here? Can I, is there anywhere I can actually successfully stand? Mm -hmm. No. Can I stand here? Oh, boy. I am not a cat. Okay. Here we go. Just gonna keep hitting E. I don't think this is gonna work. Nope. Um... Really? How much closer can I possibly be? I can't... I can't catch them. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one. Come Just out of reach. Yeah, they're just out of reach. My my reach is just not quite. How about crouching? Help! Help! Oh. I got one. <laughs> can can I can I move a little bit closer? Oh come on! It's right there! Just reach out and grab it! No, I can't do it there. What about... What about here? Don't... Okay, I'm sliding. Okay, there, I stopped. Oh, 
come here. Come here, fish. Oh. Oh. Ah. Well, I got one, but I fell down. Okay, they're like landing over right here. Oh, come on. How much closer? There. There, can I? I can't actually see underwater to see where they're spawning from. Oh. Yeah, okay. That is. That is way too much trouble for my taste. Thank you very much. Alright, well, we got three. Now, I think that, uh, although I can't do it in this particular, with this particular build, but I think that if you stock the fish hatchery with salmon, you can use, you can stand somewhere where you're kind of half in and half out of the water and you cast Ice Storm, I think it is. And it kills all the fish, and then they they wash to one side, and you can pick them up, and those salmon will have row, apparently. But we're not going to go to all that trouble because uh, long before we would even get that to that point, we're probably going to be at a hundred percent in uh, in alchemy anyway. So, I mean, we're already at uh, we're already at forty. So, but what we will do is go and see if we can get our hands on some Nordic barnacle over here. And then we have to get garlic. Now, um, someone mentioned that there's lots of garlic in the houses, but I'm not doing any stealing. So we're going to have to try to find, uh, we're going to have to try and find one somewhere to try and find some garlic at least three of them because we've got three salmon row do we not see any nordic barnacles around here apparently there's a bunch of them um by the sunken boat oh hello uh it's piranhas basically Grab the slaughterfish. Are they still coming for us? Yeah, they're, there they are, right there. Yeah, you knew I was going to come and steal your eggs, didn't you? Well, I don't really want to fight some slaughterfish. Oh, oh, oh no. Now we're fighting skeevers. Whereabouts is the lady down over there? Uh, yeah, I can't. I won't be able to teleport right now. Oh, I can! What? Why? Why did they allow me to do that? Ah. Uh, the... Butterfly murdering orc. to me, sweet butterfly. Okay, there's supposed to be a sunken ship near here. I don't think I've ever really explored, you know, I really don't think I've explored this uh, lake very much. Okay, we've got some good stuff here. Ah, some bad stuff too. 
Okay, you know what? Um, these Nordic Barnacle things might... Oh, it's over here. These Nordic Barnacle things might actually be not worth it. that and we got one gold and got that and uh and that's not it i'm drowning oh. okay i need one more just one more there we go all right Cannot wait while I'm in the water. And there's some mud crabs over there. Let's see if I can, can I fast travel that? I can't fast travel, oh no! Oh no, what do I do? Give me, give me a fast travel point, please. Anytime now, there you go. All right, Riverwood. Did I see you talking to Um Maybe. actually Maybe. Never. I, if I help him enough. what's your problem with Sven? An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that. I don't need your could you could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? Uh deliver Fandal's letter to Camilla. I just want him to let me into his house. Maybe he'll have some garlic. Maybe you could talk some set. Another pope. What's this? You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him at. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Where? Where'd you get off to? Andal? Wait. Uh. I don't know where that thing's pointing me to. College. Nope. N nope. 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 Everything all right? What's he doing in the water, dude? Climb, climb out of there. I don't think Camilla will be spending. Why are you shaking? There you go. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Awesome. Now, um, is your house open by any chance? Probably not. We we'll have to wait until the evening. Oh, it is. You know, we're friends, right, Fandal? Good, good friends. Good enough to share some ingredients, maybe? Ironic that he would have elves' ears. Dried, but still elves' ears. Okay, that gives us... Gets, a, gets us part of the way there. Um. Hmm. Yes. No. Any. Ooh. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Uh. Yes. No. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh. Don't need the lockpicks, but I guess I could probably take all the Ugh. slaughterfish. Look at the size of these slaughterfish, man. Crazy. Um, I'll take the wine and sell it as well, I guess. We got, got ourselves part of the way there. Still need uh, one more, I think. We got the three salmon row, and we've got the a two garlic, and we've got three Nordic barnacles. Yeah, we need one more garlic. Hmm. Hmm, wait, does he have any barrels outside? Maybe they have something in them. Tomatoes. Carrots. 
These are leeks and cabbages and potatoes. Mm, no. We'll probably find another one in... That's somebody else's. Probably find another one in... Um, in the... Like a, a bandit slayer or something. Actually, can I... Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. No. I... Beautiful. Be a lot warmer okay, well, we can make two of them for right now. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Let's see how ridiculously po po uh, powerful and valuable these things actually are. So we want garlic and Nordic barnacle. And salmon row. Oh! <laughs> wow, okay. They're actually nice too. Breathe underwater for 403 seconds. Health regenerates 50% faster for 300 seconds. Magicka regenerates 34% faster for 300 seconds. Wow. One more. Look at that. Almost gain, gained another level and we're already at 44. Okay. I will take it. Now, trying to find somebody who has the money to actually buy such a thing from us. Yeah, we definitely want weakness to poison at some point. Um, we're going to want to save the porous eggs for... Invisibility. We have more invisible. Oops. Yeah. Need to find some uh, Luna Moth wings too. Paralysis. And fortunately, that restores health. So probably one of the most powerful things we can get is I think it's. Uh, hang on, I have it over here. I think it's. Um, Want the poison section. Canis root, imp stool, and mora tapanella, which we can all grow in a garden if we have it, and that gives us lingering damage, health, and paralyze, which will basically render most living targets uh, no longer living. <laughs> Pretty much. And they can't do anything to us because they're paralyzed. Um, there's also... There's also Imp Stool, Scath Craw, Scathe Craw, I don't know how you pronounce that, and uh, Skeever Tail, which does lingering damage health, ravage health, and damage health. Youch. And then we've got um, Death Bell, Pine Thrush Egg, and River Betty. Unfortunately, the Pine Thrush Egg is not something that's renewable, <clears throat> so you have to just basically find them. Uh, damage health, slow, and weakness to poison. So you use that. And then use one of the other things, and it should kill just about everything. Um, if we could find human flesh, unfortunately there's not a whole lot of that, and that's also not renewable. And uh, damage health, damage health. Then you can also get Crimson Nurn Root. Uh, damage health, dam lingering damage health. But I think the, I think the easiest one... Yeah, the easiest one's definitely going to be the Canis Root, Imp Stool, and Mora Tapanella. Those are relatively easy to come by. Um, let's see. What do we got? First, Paralysis. Can we, actually, can we actually make Paralysis? Or we can. It's just this one that uh, actually increases. Paralyze them ten, for 10 seconds, but restore some of their health. <laughs> so I guess you want to hit them with that first, and then follow up with something else. Something like like ling lingering damage health, like this. Look at that, 100 points of damage. And we can apply it multiple times. So we can definitely take on uh, some of the some of the smaller bandit camps and stuff like that now. 
slashing and slashing of steel as the brave last Matilda charged in full of seal. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Um, yeah. like that. I don't think this is worth anything. Yeah, 17 points. It only uh, increases uh, enchantments by 7%. Not that great. This is good. If we had Giant's uh, Toe, we could combine it with this and it'd be really valuable. Maybe we should think about doing something like that. Um... Chicken's Egg Nightshade. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Look at that. Poison of Damage Magicka. It uh, decreases magic regen for 40, by 100% for 49 seconds and drains the target's stamina. Not bad. Let's, uh, let's make those. That's going to gain us a level. more health and we got two points so let's see we've got uh elemental oil is probably a good one to go for and let's do what do you think just straight up damage or uh, frost will slow them down until we get paralysis going this actually might be a good one to do now what does lab skeever do for us 20 seconds after using any alchemy lab, beneficial potions you drink last 15% longer and are 25% stronger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stimulants is interesting. Stimulants increase movement speed. Magic and stamina are increased when you are under the effect of beneficial potion but reduced by 25% when you are not. Witch Master, when you use a beneficial potion or ingredient, 50% chance uh, to receive a powerful side effect randomly chosen from a range of 40. 50% um, chance the side effects have side effects of their own. When you shout, your blood turns poisonous for 15 seconds. The next time you get hit with a weapon, retaliate with a powerful poisonous strike that deals 50 points of poison per damage per second for 10 seconds. Wow. But that's only applied if you shout? Or is that two things? No. You have to shout, then get hit, and then you can retaliate. Yeah, that's too bad. Not actually gonna be able to make use of that. Okay, should we hold on to the perk point for now? Level 50, we can get Alkahest, which will carve through armor. Um, Lab Skeever is also available there. Alchemist Cookbook is a while. Uh, we can actually get this right now. We don't have the perks for it. Green Thumb would be probably good. I think we should go... Yeah, let's hold off until Lab Skeever. And then maybe go for green thumb after that. That is what I'm thinking right now. So, money. Don't know if this guy's gonna actually have enough cash for the that that very those very powerful expensive potions. It's too bad those ingredients are aren't more readily available. The Riverwood Trader hey, is everything garlic. you need in it. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, he's got nearly 800. Um, oh, look at that. Nice. Accidentally leveled up speech, but that's okay. Can get rid of that. Um, probably want to sell that, although that's nice. Health regen, poison resistance, stamina increased. Okay, doesn't have enough money for that, but... I 
I better get back to cleaning the store. What a mess. Indeed. Yeah, how are we doing for money? I don't think like that's not gonna be enough. We're gonna have to do we have to do that a couple of times. Let's go to Arcadia. Assuming it's not like too late in the day or anything. Oh, yeah, it should be fine. She should still be working at an hour like this. Hey. Grab that, grab that, grab all that stuff. As well. More good stuff. There you go. Stealing everybody's flowers. You're gonna be like, what the heck, man? This looks so nice. Oh, don't wanna go there, but we uh, stumbled across some more flowers. Isn't that? Isn't that just a happy accident? There we go. All right, girl. How much cash you got on you? Ah, so you're an alchemist then? Only five hundred. Um, what can I buy from you? Oh, you've uh, restocked a bit. Wait, there we go. No, wait, I'm selling her mine. Oh, no. No. Bah. That sucks. Yeah, she still doesn't have enough. Just, just whatever. Just give it, give it all to me. Just give all of this expensive stuff. I'll make something out of it eventually. At least you can now buy that. And um that one. This is mainly I mean it only really reduces um, magic regen. That's the, that's the main bonus or main benefit to using it against against um Mages, I think we'll probably end up making something better than that. This is good, but I think right now we need to focus on just killing them as quickly as possible, so... I can't sell that either. Hmm. Still doesn't have enough gold. What if I kind of... I don't know. Do that. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to me. punch you in the what? face with my so blowgun. <laughs> I meant to shoot you in the face. No. Okay, so she's got some money now. Make sure that we're actually selling to her and not buying from her. Oh, it's just enough. Look at that, guys. Right, Look at that. I... Do I want to upgrade hers? Hmm. Let's see what happens. If there's anything I can help you with. Save it. Upgrade it. And now we're gonna make um do do, do this. Pickpocketing is easier. Hmm. Now. Okay, so it's that one. This is not as powerful. So Imp Stool and Slaughterfish. 12 points per second for 10 seconds. Pretty good. Uh, we can also make... Target slow down and damage health. Nice. Hmm. I think we should hold on to the Skeever Tail and the Death Bell is also pretty good. Death Death Bell and River Betty is pretty good. That's slow and damage. Um, what other things have you got? You've got damage health, ravage stamina, weakness to poison. You've got damage health, slow, fortify. I guess I could do uh, like a weakness to poison, maybe? 
Yeah. You do like this. Uh, slow damage health and uh, weaker to poison damage. Oh, that's really valuable too. Yep. Make a few of those too. Ooh, we're almost there. Um, and we. Let's just go ahead and make a few more damage health type things. Um, 39 points, 64 points, 39 points. Hmm. Else carry weight. That's a huge waste of a river, Betty. Conjuration. Damage stamina, resist fire, resist magic, ravage magicka. Yeah, we can use those up. Nice, another level. Always good. More health. Oof, we're getting there. We need one more point. One more level. Fortify Sneak. Now there's an interesting one. Harder to, to detect and um, resist frost damage. There we go. Level 50. Three perk points. We'll do Lab Skeever. And I think uh, Alkahest will carve through any armor that they're wearing as well. And. Um, hey, what's the next thing? Now we could. We could. We could do this. Stimulants. And then um, the next one's going to give us increased movement speed. Uh, level 60. We want to hold off will give us an additional effect. Obviously, you're going to want something like paralysis oil. Green thumb is probably the next major thing we're going to want. Or double toil and trouble. Twice as many potions at your lab. All right, let's let's hold off on that for the moment. And, um, you don't have money, I don't think. Let's wrap this episode up by going and clearing out Ember Shard with nothing but poison. How's that sound? Ooh, it's so dark. Okay, never mind you. I'm, yeah, I'm just going this way. Don't mind me. Just want to do a little bit of... And I want to get that thing. Is she? I don't think she's paying attention to me here. Like those. And we'll just uh, crouch down here. I don't have a good angle on her. I can't actually see her at all. Oh, I think I can see her. Not alive. She really blends in from here. Let's try. Uh... And she is. She's in a very, very good spot there. I hope you guys can see. Man, it's really dark. Okay, let's try, let's just try this, see what happens. We are going to, um, probably want to make use of the poison mod that I installed. Poison prompt. Show a pop-up asking for confirmation when poisoning, if not poisoned. Prompt only if the weapon has no poison added. Adding more poison will not prompt. Only non-poisons prompt if the 
Potion is not marked as poison. I don't know. Clean a prompt. Right hand weapon, left hand weapon. When highlighting a poison in the inventory menu, this key will apply it to the right hand weapon if, if equipped. When highlighting an equipped weapon in either hand, this key will clean the poison off. Poison multiplier for doses. If you have the vanilla concentrated poison perk, it can normally be one or two if you have concentrated poison. If you have mods which modify your standard dose, you will need to manually set this to match. Okay. Well, let's try, before we do that, let's just try applying it as we would normally. So let's use um, that one. Okay, it shows what we have poisoned and how many there are. Save that. Whoops. Yeah, we definitely need to stay sneaking. Okay. Well, that did was not doing 12 points of damage, but I guess I am on uh, Master. Worked, though. I'm just going to take everything and sell it all. That is the main thing that I wanted from that this, this mod is to um, ha tell me what kind of poison is on my weapon. So, it's doing what it's supposed to do. You can also use it for some other things, but... Run away while he dies and hide. Friend forgets all about us. Nice. Wow, he really did not get very far. Where are you gonna be there, bud? I don't think you're going to make it. We are literally going to just rob these people blind and take all their ingredients. take this torch and might as well take that I I'm gonna I'm gonna take as much as I can carry but all right forgetting he's forgetting about us actually we're in a really light place here and we suck at sneaking so Where are you going perfect die before he gets to us
Hey, got my, my uh, thing back, too. Okay, I'm not poisoned anymore, so let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we use this one. Fortify Sneak, actually. Should be using that. I should have used it when we were at the um, alchemy table. Now, let's just see. So, Lab Skeever. Oh, after using any alchemy lab. Okay. That's interesting. Got six poisons on this bad boy. Is there a way for me to sort of attract his attention? No. He is slightly aware of me. We are going to run! Well, he dies. <laughs> Grab ingredients. Oh, yeah. Take all their stuff. Um, any thing? Oh, ingredients. Tomato, nope, 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 well, nope. Yes. No. Yes. No. And no. We got some ingredients, so that's good. Got a fair bit of health, and you're only you're only taking seven. That's unfortunate. Okay, he's gonna need to go down. What was that? Oh, he's he is actually aware of us, but he's gonna be dead before he gets here. There you go. Where did he? Oh, there he is. Okay, we've got three more poisons. We've got a guy sitting there. We got the person there. Let's see if I can get a shot off on. Okay. That's another outlaw. I'm gonna take two shots to take him down, and then maybe, maybe just one for the uh, for the archer. Oh, nope. We only have one shot left. Unfortunately, that's an outlaw. Yeah, leveling up sneak like crazy, but we are not perking it. Okay. Guys are going back to what you were doing. Oh no! I missed! Oh no! Oh, that sucks. Um, well, you know what? Let's use the weak poisons. Is that guy aware of us? I don't think so.
Wow, that didn't do much. That didn't do much of all, much of anything at all. I mean, we might as well use up these weak poisons. I think I'm gonna have to hit him two more times to get rid of him. Oh, oh no. Run, 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 run all the way out to outside. Not well, not outside, but up here, if it if at all possible. Hopefully, he's forgotten all about me. If not, we will run out the door, I guess. Oh yeah, he completely forgot about us. Wonder how far he got. Sneak. He really didn't get very far. Nope. Probably back, all the way back to, oh, no, there he is right there. Hmm. You just gonna stand there? He forgot about us again. I hope he sort of goes back to doing what he was doing. Yeah, these poisons are useless. They're fine at low levels, but once you start dealing with uh, outlaws and things, no good. There he goes. He is down to 31. Back it. And no, he's not dead. Oh, come on. Holy cow, are you serious? You're still not dead? Okay, let's use... Use that. There we go. He was technically weaker to poison for a minute there. Oh, and that's all he needed. Nice! We did it! Oh, we da da. How much uh, carry capacity have we got? Oh boy. Well, we cleared it. And now we're going to just clear everything else of value here. And head back. Let's uh, grab the ingredients while we can. And. Doop, doop, doop. Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, it took a little bit of running away, a little bit of sneaking, which, you know, obviously I don't want to do a lot of sneaking, but I'm not going to perk it. It's just because we really can't afford to uh, be in a hand-to-hand -hand combat situation. Is a uh, charred... Yes, that is a, a uh, ingredient. That's not, there's nothing in there. No, sadly, no salt. No. no These are mostly food. I think. But occasionally you get lucky with something. 
Well, it's empty. And just take all that stuff. Potion of lock picking, sure. Sounds great. Oh, yes. Pick that, nice. And I'm not gonna bother going over there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lock pick anything over there, so whatever. Okay, that's actually that's it. We will uh stand here majestically, proud of our first clearing of a dungeon. I mean it's a it's a small dungeon, but um there you go. The build is starting to get viable. Now we're gonna go back to town, sell a whole bunch of stuff. And maybe craft ourselves up some better poisons. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you next time.